Hi folks, here we are again with a new video of the series on GIs. You know, this channel is not only focused on uh, GIs. We have a holistic approach. I think this is one of the main char characteristics of this channel. It is not focused only on the legal side, uh, focused only on the business side. No, we have also uh, some sustainability, motivational uh, issues, all of which makes business a success. So the main focus is that the business has a success and then the other factors are coming uh, beside which are the success factors of the business which you have to comply with in order to the business being a success. One of them naturally is IP. But here uh, today I want to focus on uh, some other uh, issues which are motivational and sustainability. One thing of a business success, not only business success, of any success you want to have, any progress you want to make, which is anything which is against, so to say, the mainstream, what others do and what you will do is different than what others do, so against the mainstream, but any other uh, venture you want to undertake is it a personal one is it to lose weight is it to gain confidence is it to uh, to succeed in in something is it to become a good sportsman to be whatever whatever it is a learning issue on on uh, economics or on legal or whatever whatever the business uh, you undertake whatever the venture it is you want to uh, bring to the next level. What you need is a kind of confidence. And there are two factors. Uh, the confidence is constantly subtracted from you. And firstly, well, firstly, I want to say that confidence is not something you are born with. Somebody are born with confidence, with ego, so to say. But mostly uh, people are not born with something. And the good news is you can get it through time, through uh, working on your confidence. It is not something uh, that is a gift to uh, one people and others they don't have this gift. It is uh, if you want to build your confidence, you can. Now, how can you build your, your confidence? Well, there are two factors of subtraction from your confidence. You might have a low level of confidence from, uh, from whatever. And then you get the internal imposter, what we say in German, the innere Schweinehund. It's very difficult to uh, translate into other languages. Uh, so the internal imposter, which talks you out to any venture, any, any business, any new things, anything uh, which is uncomfortable, which requires uncomfortable action for you. And so uh, that's everything uh, out of question for this internal imposter. And he will, he will talk you out. Oh, this is not the time. Uh, you're not ready for this. Uh, this is for other people. Uh, you don't have the gift. Uh, look, you don't have the means. You don't have the resources. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have. That is what they're talking about internally. Now, for the internal imposter, what we need is uh, to, uh, to make the confidence happen through daily steps. That is the only way to neutralize, so to say, that internal imposter. So, daily st that would be an overall goal, right? Like... Like, well, there's a famous example of a, there was a, a you know, CEO, a female CEO, uh, many hundreds of grants as a salary, you know, during the year. And, and well, uh, she was uh, kind of obese. She was not happy with, your, with their weight. And she was unable, uh, although, you know, uh, Confidence, talking about confidence, somebody is a CEO of a, a billion dollars uh, company and uh, has no confidence. Well, she has confidence probably, uh, but uh, the confidence would be, uh, would be focused on 
probably on, on other things, and she was lenient with regard to her own, so to say, weight, uh, the ideal weight or the, the figure or the body uh, mass or whatever it is. Now, what, uh, what happens? Uh, if she was daily reminded of what was their goal, it's her goal, then it could work, or it was a, a basic condition of working this out. And uh, so she decided, or on advice uh, of, of somebody, of some professional consultant, so she decided to put her ideal picture from what was 20 years ago, probably, in her kitchen, but a real, a real figure, so uh, um, 180 or whatever it was, her height, uh, her height, so that was a, a real figure poster with her ideal weight. And when she comes daily into her kitchen, and, oh shit, again, uh, I see this, and uh, she turned around and went uh, the way out in order to not to see, not to be confronted with that picture by eating <laughs> even more, whatever, open the fridge and, uh, and taking in something. So this daily reminder and the daily reminder boosted, I would say, not necessarily her confidence, but uh, the in, indirectly yes. If you remind yourself of your daily, of your, not of the daily goal, of the, uh, but if you remind yourself daily of the goal you have, uh, then uh, your confidence builds up with every step you get closer to this goal. So. Uh, the good news here is uh, the uh, confidence is something you build on a daily basis, And even somebody who has no confidence at all, he is able to be built uh, confidence on whatever public speaking or whatever uh, they throw at him if he was able to put this into motion every day, to wanting to become uh, your better next level, uh, wanting to become a better person, wanting to become whatever precise goal uh, is in the way, well, this is possible. The second is, <clears throat> there's a, a second, a, a second thing. Uh, you are surrounded by, uh, by people, right? And uh, you are surrounded by people who care for you. So, uh, these people and you, in order to build your confidence, uh, you normally uh, well require the advice of uh, of those people, because they uh, they would care for you and they would would give you the uh, the good advice, uh, the advice which would be well meant and which are good. And uh, this is the case, right? I don't say that uh, these people uh, who care for you, uh, who are around you, who are your friends, uh, that uh, they would give you an advice which is ill meant. But more often than not, these advices are not the ones you should be seeking for. And why is that? Well, very easy. Uh, these people, they don't have the same goal as you have. And uh, they are probably not as strong, con strongly convinced on something you are because you want to do something and you want to advise of others in order what, what happens with, with, uh, uh, with that venture you want to go through. And uh, they <clears throat> would say, well, uh, they, they don't want you to get embarrassed. That is what, what the main goal is and uh, it is well meant for you. So they will say, they will talk you out. They will try to talk you out about this business venture, about this goal, about this ambition, about this um, ego boosting, about this uh, possible failure, etc. And, and then that is against your confidence. So uh, your confidence, you're coming high, you want a positive uh, feedback and what you get is a negative feedback. So whoop, your confidence is a level lower and you're talked out. So what do you have to do in order to uh, not to happen this? Very easily, you have to shut out. Shut out uh, those people. Well, they, uh, they care for you. You won't uh, lose all your friends. That is not the advice I will give you. No, but uh, you talk about other things with them. And that's it. You will not 
uh, you will not take an advice on a business venture with somebody who choose uh, who chose uh, not to be in a business venture. He will say, "Well, do not go into that. Look, I'm comfortable where I am. So uh, why I want you uh, to encourage to go to the business venture if I not in, am in in a business venture? So rather than." Uh, talking uh, to your friends who are not in that, talk about other things. And you still have friends, right? It is not about that. But it is about protecting your confidence. Protecting your confidence rather than going down. No, it should go up. Taking up uh, each day a level, a step in the right direction and your confidence. Well, it's a byproduct. It will come... It will come uh, spontaneously. You don't have to do anything else. So it is just a way how it is. So that was uh, one part. Another part, I would uh, like to talk about sustainability. So GIs, the terroir, the territory, uh, you want to transform the territory or exploit the territory in order to make a product which gives a different flavor, which has to do with the territory, etc. You get traction. Well, uh, there is only one thing, one message I want to give here. If you get traction with your, uh, your possibility, and there was an uh, example with argan oil in Morocco, Argan oil is a, a very rare oil out of argan trees, which are in the Moroccan countryside, and uh, it gets some. It got some traction, and but uh, argan oil tree was a difficult tree uh, in order to grow. It had to uh, grow for three, four years in order to bear fruit, and then from the fruit, it is possible to get the oil out of it. And the oil was used afterwards for com consumption or for uh, for medical, cosmetical uh, issues. So a very high-valued oil, with a GI, by the way. But uh, if the efficiency, you want to have the efficiency, uh, you need uh, to, or you not, not you need to, no. Uh, people will come up with new solutions, and the new solutions are other trees which are similar to all, uh, argan trees but they are more efficient they uh, you do not need to uh, to take i don't know 3 years to wait 3 years in order to bear fruit no it will go much easier but then you may have side effects so rather than uh, jumping on the efficiency of uh, of a new tree or new variety of tree and um, and i don't know uh, to plant them more closer to one to the other so in order to get a higher efficiency of trees with regard to an acre or so uh, rather than this think of long term of long term sustainability and that is what i want to focus on you uh, take a new tree into the landscape and this landscape has evolved over hundreds of years and what would be the impact of um, what uh, you are newly implementing into the area? That is an issue, the sustainability of long term, which is you should uh, care about. In any business you should care about. So the quick buck is not uh, that one you should go for. It is about long sustainability. Now, if you get these long term goals and you get to sustainability, you have uh, still a possibility within the area to make it, I don't know, uh, more beautiful, more original, uh, more uh, um, on its own, grown on its own, rather being implemented of something. And then the tourism, which is the secondary issue, they may come in in order to see what you are doing there because it is sustainable, because it is beautiful, because it is like 100 years ago. Uh, that is what makes the difference with regard to what is on the supermarket shelves, which come from industrial uh, production and uh, they don't want to go to, uh, to the industry to see how they fit into the cans, right? But they would come into the countryside in order to see how everything has been grown beautifully by nature and, um, you know, the fauna and the birds and, and whatever it is, an ecosystem which works. So these two issues for today. Thank you for tuning in again and see you soon.